Hello, Chris here. Let's continue with the controller. I'm going to name my cord and put the cord curve and the cord uh, in the controller high group by selecting them, middle mouse clicking and dragging them into the controller high group. Now if I open that, I can see that they're in there. And then I'm going to create a new layer uh, and add them to that layer and I'll name that uh, controller underscore high and hit save and I'll turn the view off and let's go ahead and model the plug now here are the reference images and how I've set them up you may want to pause if you want to do the same thing that I did turning their alpha gain to 0.5 so that they're semi-transparent as we did with the controller. I'm going to start by modeling this. Uh, I'm going to model this in two pieces, two main pieces. I'm going to scale this approximately to its proper volume. create another cube and I'm going to scale it to its approximate volume as well. My image is a little crooked so I'm just going to straighten that a little bit. Scale this in. Go to vertex mode and move this to the top. I'll check it in other views. There's perspective in that uh, top view, so I'm not worried about it there. I'll go to my multi-cut tool and I'll add a few edge loops. I'll scale this in and I'll scale this in to match. I'm going to snap this to better match. Add another edge loop there. Scale this in. And I'm not worried about perfection on this piece as it won't be the main focal point of the model. We're not doing like an engineering model. The one that needs to be exact. Do some more vertex snapping. Just trying to get the primary forms down here. I'm going faster in this video assuming that if you've been following along you'll kind of see what's happening and how to do this stuff more intuitively. I'm going to bevel all these corners, reduce the fraction, and increase the segments and I'll make sure I'm using my um, reference. Because of perspective you know this piece will actually be much greater, um, be a lot larger than that of the image plane. But it'll be something closer to this. Put an edge loop there so that there's a bit of a thickness. I'm going to delete that face and then use the bridge tool to bridge, a bridge across, get rid of n-gons. I'll bridge there and here. And I'll use the multi gut tool, hold control, and um, middle mouse click here and here. And now I have a vertex in the center, so I can select this, bevel it, and then I select the four vert new vertices and circularize them. Add two divisions. Scale them up. What I was doing there was just making sure I didn't have any other verts selected. We're 
we go ahead and fix this end gone in the center here. I'll select these faces and extrude them in. <clears throat> and then scale them in. Take this edge and bevel it. I'm going to scale these verts out to give the outer edge some breathing room. I'll select that entire outer edge, bevel it, increase the segments, and then I'll spread those edges out a little. Then I'm going to go ahead and create a bunch of edge loops to fix those end gons on the top, like so. A lot of the details on the plug, like the text and some of the indentations, we'll just do through texture work. Again, because the plug's going to be very small, and we're not too concerned about it. I'm going to bevel this edge here to make it less sharp, reduce the fraction a little bit, add a segment. Also bevel this edge and reduce the fraction. Due to perspective, um, this bottom piece is actually not quite correct, so I'm going to go ahead and fix that now. These vertices need to be over quite a bit. So I'll center the pivot here. Then I will center the object, and then I will scale it like so. I'm going to drop an edge loop here. And then I need to create these little extrusions. So I'm going to go to uh, Mesh Tools and Option Box for Insert Edge Loop Tool. I'm going to click on this Multiple Edge Loops and choose 6. And then I'll click in here and it will create 6 evenly spaced edge loops. Then with all of them selected, I will hit the Bevel button and it'll split all of them. And now I can use these evenly spaced edge loops to create those um, evenly spaced extrusions. So um, I'll hit, I'll go to my selection tool. Just make sure I start on the correct one. I'm gonna select these faces like so. And then I'll do that to the other side as well. Then I will extrude and pull these out and I'll offset them uh, inward a little bit. Starting to get closer here. Now on one side of the plug there is um, a small extrusion that sticks out a little ways and we can see it. And we'll use these faces to extrude and then pull them out. And we'll take these vertices and move them down to create that slant and I'll pull this back in. Just adjust these a bit. I want to look at the overall width here. Just make some, make some minor adjustments.
we need to match this overall shape. So we're going to do that by beveling edges. So I'm going to take this edge and bevel it and make it a large angle like so. Let's take these two edges, bevel them and reduce the fraction and increase the segment to two. Take these three edges and bevel those as well. Reduce the fraction, increase the segments to two. Then I'll delete the top and bottom of this shape. Then I'll select the top and bottom edge loops, extrude them, reduce the thickness. And with both the top and bottom selected, I will bridge across. Now I've created this uh, sort of tunnel, like at the bottom of the plug. Next, we need to create the little cylinders that are on the interior. There are four on the sort of at the, you know, the wide part and then three uh, on the bottom. So I'm not going to make pipes for these because I don't want to use the polygons to do it. Again, this will be a minor detail and we don't really want the focus to be on the plug. So I'll space these out and then I'll duplicate and by hitting control D and then I'll scale these and I'm going to delete the tops and I should have done that before I duplicated uh, but instead I'll select the middle vertices to all of them hold control right click and drag down to convert it to faces and then I'll delete all the faces that way scale these up and move them up into the plug I will combine all these pieces and name it plug and delete my history and then I will drag it into the controller underscore high turn the layer back on and I duplicated this and I'm trying to get the scale correct and I know that the plug if placed at the bottom of the controller will reach a certain point uh, specifically the bottom of the upper bezel So I'm going to scale it like so. Now I know it's the correct size. And I'll get rid of my first attempt and move this back. And I will place it so the cord is going inside. Give it a little bit of an angle. Just tweak it a bit. And that's good. In the next video, we will finish off the um, high poly prep. We'll see you there.